Alrighty, well, hi everyone. Um, before I started my uh, Final Fantasy XIV stream, I thought I'd um, totally on a whim here. I just uh, went on Google and typed down streamer tips, and then I just clicked the first thing here that came up on the uh, on the uh, results. So this one's called uh, 23 Tips from Seven Full-Time Streamers on Surviving and Thriving as a Streamer." Um, I do what I normally do, just go on down the uh, go on down the post here and just uh, do commentary on it um, but uh, I'm gonna try to keep this short because I am gonna be streaming myself here in about 15 20 minutes so I figured I haven't done one of these this is kind of my this is kind of my self-evaluation uh, kind of thing so it's something I haven't done in a very long time that I think I need to do more of but I never seem to get up the gumption to do so Possibly because I pretty much said everything I was going to say earlier on. So, or been doing this for three years. Anyway, I'm I'm just going blah 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 blah. blah so let me continue. Um, that I agree with. That I agree with. Um, I think um, uh, how how would I go? I think there's way too many fish in the sea. I mean there. The, to me, the market is totally glutted. I mean, you look on Twitter, you got tons of streamers, streamers and content creators on there. They're all over the place. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't. I think uh, innovation is, for the most part, out the window. I mean, you're, you're really gonna have to, you're really gonna have to do something that nobody else has ever done before. I'm one of the few. Um, I play records when I stream. I'm one of the very few that I can think of that does that. I'm also one of the few streamers that streams while sitting on the floor. Most everybody I know, or most everybody I've seen, they stream while sitting in an office chair in front of their computer desk. Whereas I do it out here in my living room, on my living room floor with my coffee table and all my peripherals and whatnot. But even then, I don't exactly have tens and thousands of followers, or I don't have tens of thousands of people checking out my stream. So he asked six top streamers for their best tips for surviving and thriving. Um, I'll kind of give my answer on this. Actually, I'll give a short answer. Everything. That it, or that is to say you can't rely on one thing to get you by I mean yeah you gotta be or look at it Meg Kaylee here yeah you gotta be photogenic you gotta you gotta be pretty good looking but you also gotta be a good conversationalist um, you gotta you know you gotta make good content you you know you gotta be you know playing good you know playing good games be good at it pretty much everything I mean I mean, you could be, uh, I mean, you could be hot, you could be hot as hell, but if you're a total airhead, or if you're a total jerk, or if you just suck at the game you're playing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I ain't gotta stay on your channel long, you know. And then the reverse is true. I mean, if you got, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're speed running a game and you're really good at it, or no, if you're, if you're awesome as hell, if you're a cool person, if you're great at conversation. But if you suck at the game you're playing, or you know if you're, you kind of you kind of get what I mean. It, you have to cover all the bases, not just one of them. So, so let's see what Meg Kaylee has to say. Maintain a work-life balance. I do that. Um, I work the, I work the night shift at Walmart. I'm a stock I'm a stalker boy. So so yeah, I have a work life balance. Um Wednesdays Wednesday nights to Sunday nights. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna be on maybe two, three hours and that's about it. So I already have this. This is I guess in a sense, this is kinda baked in to what I do. I mean I was I already had a full time job before I started streaming. So I'm having to try to work my stream again to my uh, 
to my job. So this is, I already had this. Um, strengthen your brand. Okay. I, I mean, I'm, I stream because I stream mainly, uh, for cheap therapy. Uh, kind of a, kind of a social outlet for me. I don't know about designing a brand or anything. I'm not. Well, here, let me read this. When your channel, when your channel grows, your overall grows with it. Don't underestimate the value of having a strong brand. Um, okay. I'm currently doing this as we speak. Once this video is over, I'm going to gonna clean and polish it off, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Is that, I'm assuming that's strengthening your brand. But, I mean, I, it shouldn't be something that I should have to hire our marketing and advertising team or anything like that. So, but I am a firm believer in um, doing, other thi doing other things outside of just streaming, like what I'm doing right now. Save and plan ahead. Yes. Again, this is again. I've had a I've had a full time job for almost thirty years now. I've already been doing this kind of thing before I even started streaming. Yes. And I have a very hard time believing any I have a very time excuse me. I have a very hard time believing anybody that says, Oh yeah. I was only streaming for a week, and all of a sudden, I got 10,000 followers now, you know. Uh-uh. It's an up. You start in the abyss, and you have to claw your way up. At least that's how it was with me. I mean, unless you're a boob streamer or something. But then, um, you're having to... It's kind of hard to explain, but you've already had to pay your 10, 15, 20 grand for your boobs. You're having to pay that shit ton of money all up front, and then... You're kind of making up for a stream, but I'm sorry if I'm not making sense. I'll just move along. You're going to face ups and downs. Streams will go great. And others, you may notice a dip in viewership. Yep. 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 Like I said, you start in the you start in the abyss, and you have to claw your way up. Yes. Um. Turn your um. Turn your viewer. Uh, on your off uh, when you're streaming turn your view count off that will um because otherwise you'll you'll end up doing what I do I mean I've had I mean when I first started streaming I had my view numbers up how many viewers I have on my channel if there's zero viewers I didn't say a word to anybody it was just just totally silent you know, but once I saw that one viewer, boom, I was in the entertainment mode. Like, hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, welcome to the street. Blah, 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 you know, and I'm proceeding to pester the guy. And then that one would oftentimes turn into a zero because he might have been a lurker. Which is another little lesson I can give from me to you. Don't, don't call out the lurkers. Again, I've been there too. I mean, sometimes I go on somebody's stream just wanting to simply check them out. Not wanting to engage in convo or anything. But then all of a sudden, he'll be like, Oh, hello, Joe Schmo. How's it going, man? What's up, you know? And pew, I'm gone almost immediately, so. Um, track your growth. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. After every stream, I'll um, look at my stream summary, see how many people showed up. And, um, and, that's, ha and that's happened numerous times, too. There's been times where I'm... Quiet as a mouse, or not really saying a whole lot. Just, you know, crickets chirping and everything. I'll have an average of five viewers on my channel. I'll have 15, or I'll have like a whole bunch of, whole bunch of viewers on my channel. And I hardly said a word to anybody. But then there's times where I'm just all kinds of chatty, blah, 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 just chatting up, talking away all throughout the entire stream and having like one person. So, I mean, I've had that happen, too. Yeah, so I totally agree with this.
Yep, stream consistently, set up a schedule. But again, this is kind of baked into my lifestyle anyway. I've already had a full-time job before I started streaming. So, I pretty much had to set up a schedule. I had to set up consistency on this. Positivity. Yep. Again, this one here, I can tell you that by experience. You, basically, it's got to be personal. It's to me, it's like to me, it's like religion. It has to be personal. You don't just you don't just go to church every Sunday in the hopes of landing that big job, or you don't you know you don't you don't pray you know you don't pray to God and hope you know to hope they can get your car out of you know car out of repossession. You know you don't you know. God has to be personal. It has to be a lifestyle change, not just a not just a quick fix. Same thing here. Um, have fun. Um, I could probably come off more often than not. I could probably come off sounding like the Terminator. Um, as far as I guess, as far as human is stream interaction goes between streamer and streamer and viewer, it's. It's synergy with me. It's synergistic. Um, I've said this before in other videos, but it, there's an old poker saying that if you don't give any action, you won't get any action. In the same way, too. I mean, if if you're not, I mean, if you're not talking to me, chances are I'm probably not really talking to you. I mean, I do try to talk out loud. I do, I do try to talk stuff out when I can. But the interaction can be so much better if you, you know. If you kind of meet me halfway on it, but if you just if you just come on my stream and not say a word, I mean I'm not putting down lurkers. I have no problem with lurkers. I tend to be one myself at times. But if you just come on a stream and not say a word, if you just lurk, and then you go, man, this guy, this streamer sucks. He doesn't say anything. I mean part of the, I mean that's your fault. You know maybe if you maybe do your part and try to help this guy out, try to get him to talk. You, know, you never know. Okay, but I got about uh I got a few minutes, so let me continue on. Um, any fuss you? Having fun while streaming, but again, I don't. Personally, I'm not a. Hey, oh, let me oh, level it into everybody. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, I'm leveling into. I might be leveling into two or Final Fantasy fourteen. You know, just being all. Total 100% crazy charismatic entertainer, you know, I, that's, that's not really me when streaming. I mean, especially when I'm actually playing a game. Especially when I, if I'm playing a game like Grim Dawn, playing hardcore mode with permadeath. I mean, I, I can't really be, I mean, I can't really be chatty and talky and happy and all that. I'm too, too busy focused on the game I'm playing to, you know, I'm trying to keep from being, trying to keep from dying, you know, so... Nothing better than being around someone who's passionate about what they do. Um, directly transferred to the emotions of your viewers. This is probably an issue that I'd have. Like I said, I'm typically too focused on the game, on the game I'm playing. Just, you know, get, getting from point A to point B and whatnot. And plus, um, typically when I stream, I'm usually playing, um, I'm playing records when I stream, so oftentimes I'm actually listening to music as well. And again, this is um speaking as a viewer as well. If I saw somebody being like just being like Nardwar, if you've ever heard of that guy, just really totally annoying and just really you know happy, you know, happy, energetic, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, I'd actually find that as a turn off. Unless you're Unless you seem to be genuine about it, then maybe I might stick around. But if it if it looks like you're just putting on a character, then yeah, pew, I'm gone. Um, this here, and again, this is something that I don't do often enough. Uh, possibly due to burnout. I'm thinking that's what it is. But I've been streaming for about three, three and a half years now. So. When I first started streaming, yeah, I was streaming all kinds of random stuff on my nights off. Like Tuesday mornings and Wednesday mornings, I'd play a rant. I'd play some game at random. 
just whatever suited my fancy at the time. Um, I'm getting burnt out on I'm pretty much burnt on it now to where I only stream uh, I, I mean I stream uh, I stream every night usually starting around 4 p.m. until whenever I feel it's time to go. And I, I used to stream uh, Tuesday mornings and Wednesday mornings. These days it's just on Wednesday mornings now. So like I said I think it's burnout. But yeah the Oftentimes I play it on Final Fantasy XIV. That's my main game right there. But yeah, I'll, I'll often I'll play other games too. But again, I'm burnt. So it's pretty much been just Final Fantasy XIV. And then pinball on Wednesday mornings. Yeah, this too. Lucky breaks. I've had this, I've had this happen as well. Um, I'll be streaming and then all of a sudden somebody will raid me with like 10 viewers. Just totally out of the blue. Totally random. Totally unexpected. Um, I've had a... I've had, I, I guess they're famous people. I Names I've never heard of. But I don't, I don't really do much outside of streaming. As far as networking and whatnot. That could be a weakness of mine as well. But, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and slam the brakes on this... I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because uh, I gotta get my stream going. So, but I thought this should be something, something fun, something that would be fun to do for me, something I haven't done in a long time, something I don't do often enough. But again, I think it's burnout. Or let me rephrase that. I think it's uh because I've done this kind of thing before from time to time, so I've I've said pretty much everything I wanted to say. So, but anyway, off to my Final Fantasy 14 stream. So, thanks for watching.